Mark, uh, let me uh, flip to Friday, the, the two semifinal games, especially the Georgia game. Uh, where you've covered that team a long time. You've been around it. You went to school there. Um, I, I was asked this question earlier, and, and I'm, it, was, it, it didn't surprise me, but, it, but it's, it, it is a reality that if Kirby Smart does not win this game against Michigan, there, there will be some, some, some hue and cry uh, about where this season went. I, I don't know if that's fair or not, but, but I'm curious as somebody who lives in Georgia, went there, just your perspective on, on what happened in Atlanta and, and what, could, what it all could mean if, if the dogs don't get out of the Orange Bowl on Friday night. Yeah, I mean, if they can't beat, if they don't beat Michigan, I think he'll be criticized for the way the quarterback position was handled. And I'm not going to sit here and say he's making the wrong decision or Todd Monk and his offensive coordinator is making the wrong decision by sticking with Stetson Bennett. I think if JT Daniels was practicing and performing and available to play better than Stetson Bennett, he would be Georgia's starting quarterback. But everything I've heard is that Stetson Bennett has performed better in practice and up until the Alabama game had, had done exactly what his coaches had asked him to do. And I don't think you can serve, you certainly can't pin everything on Stetson Bennett for Georgia's loss to Alabama. I think Georgia decided to get too cute and too complicated and change things up on defense and, and put their secondary in some bad positions. And, you know, you hadn't seen blown coverages from them all year. For whatever reason, they tried to change things up and, and paid the price for it. Um, you know, not surprised by what happened. In Atlanta, I think any time you put Nick Saban in a position where his team is an underdog and has to win to get into the playoff, 99.9% of the time they're going to show up. And, you know, they whip Georgia's tail. And Georgia's got to figure out a way to get past Michigan and then and then try to get a, another shot against Alabama and, and try to finally beat them. But if, if, they lose, if Georgia loses to Michigan, Kirby will be criticized, and he'll be criticized for the quarterback position more than anything else, because it, it's, let's face it, I mean, it's year six, and Stetson Bennett's a great story, and he's played well. You know, I, I think he's the best quarterback they've got right now. Um, but the fact that you've got a former starting or a former walk on starting for the number three team in the country, people are going to criticize that. And, you know, the kid's deserved it, and he's earned it. But, you know, people are still going to point back to the fact that he's five foot ten and he was a walk on. But there does seem to be a lot of revisionist uh, thinking, uh, you know, with Justin Fields. And, you know, I remember watching that unfold as you did. And it, he never really uh, was in the position to take the job from Jake Fromm. And who knows what's going on with, with, with JT Daniel. He's like the, like the missing man. So I, I know that doesn't make it fair. But uh, as you said, it is a reality. Uh, and, and then we get – and I know I'm jumping the gun here. Georgia still – could win the national championship and nobody's going to ask anyone uh, about why why 41 years have passed but it just seems like and you, and you live there I know the Braves just won the World Series but it just seemed ingrained in that state does it not no it does and I'm sure if you're a Georgia fan and a Braves fan you're probably sitting there saying that what are the odds of two of them ending a drought the same year given the state's sports history of futility but um you know, it's, 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 I think it, it's similar situations, I think, with Fromm and Fields and Bennett and Daniels in that Jake Fromm had taken Georgia to the national championship game as a freshman and had played well. Um, you know, one of very few freshmen to ever get to the national championship game. And you can say that it was in spite of Jake Fromm because they didn't ask him to do too much. But, you know, I think it got to a point this season after JT Daniels was hurt against Vanderbilt that Kirby and his coaching staff probably sat there and said, look, we're going to disrupt chemistry. The kids on this team really like this guy. They love his story. He works his rear off. He, he has played well. You know, if we pull him out and put JT Daniels back in and he gets hurt again, we've disrupted chemistry and we're right back to, Jay, to Stetson Bennett again. So, you know, I can't criticize Kirby or Monken for what they've done. I just, uh, you know, I, I think – if you're a Georgia fan, you just got to trust that your coaches are making the right decisions. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.